Hi, I'm Phil from TurboMini.com and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about dry decking, so as usual, grab a brew and let's crack on. Right, if you're not quite sure what dry decking is, I'll just explain that now. Basically, the waterways in the face of both the block and the cylinder head are plugged up and then the water coolant is routed from uh, a core plug on the end of the block round and up onto the cylinder head via uh, a silicon hose. So basically, instead of the coolant passing across the block and up into the cylinder head via the holes in the faces, it has to run right across the block, externally out of this hose and then back into the cylinder head and back across again. One of the main advantages of running a dry deck type system is that if the head gasket blows across into where a waterway would have been, obviously there's not actually any coolant passing between the head and block now. So in, in a race car that could be a particular advantage because that could be the difference between either finishing or not finishing. The second advantage is that it does tend to promote better cooling around a cylinder 4 on the block. Because obviously now the water can't head up through the block and head face, it has to run right across the block. Uh, so it's got to go across all cylinders and it comes back in across the head so there's even coolant flow across all cylinders there because the water has no option but to travel right across and right back again. So there's three ways of going about this procedure. Uh, the first one is you can plug the block and the head face waterways uh, with brass plugs and then skim the block and the head face. Obviously that's a pretty permanent fixture uh, and the engine and the head need to be completely stripped. The second way is you can buy actually buy a head gasket with the waterways blanked off. Uh, so you can just simply fit the head gasket to your current block and cylinder head and that will blank the waterways off. Uh, and the third way is to tap and uh, plug the waterways in the block face with grub screws. If you're just looking to take advantage of the improved cooling, either of the last two options is viable. So obviously there's no head or block skimming involved and you don't have to strip down the engine. Uh, so that's an easier method, though that won't give you the advantage of uh, stopping water possibly passing into the cylinders should the head gasket go, but it does mean uh, it's easier to do and obviously it's reversible should you ever wish to return to a standard uh, cooling setup. For a road car my personal preference is to just simply plug the block with grub screws uh, and run it that way. It's easy, it's cheap and it does the job. All you need to do then is machine the end of the cylinder head to accept the, the dry deck takeoff, and away you go. So this is the dry deck kit that I sell, 180 degree silicon hose there, a couple of different colours. Uh, there's the adapters, that's one, one for your cylinder going to the end of your cylinder head. Just move that in, you can see that. Uh, and then another one to go in your block, uh, a couple of Jubilee clips and then some dome head uh, stainless allen bolts to hold the adapters to both the block and the head. So to fit the kit it's fairly straightforward, you can see the end of the head is machined there to accept the adapter uh, and then you take the core plug out down there in the block uh, and then tap two holes to hold your, hold your adapter onto the block there and then you just have your 180 degree hose that obviously fits into there and then the adapters bolt to the head, seal them up and then it goes onto the block and the head like so. As usual, hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please give the video a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Just before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Richard Allen who runs the YouTube channel Mini Performance. We've been friends for a long time and Richard's uh, doing some fantastic projects at the moment. He's currently doing an 8 port headed uh, Rotrex supercharged engine. He's got a VTEC Mini. He's got loads of stuff going on so if you're into that type of thing, which I assume you are as you're watching my channel, uh, then check out his channel. I'll uh, leave a link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching again and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers!